Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is Sir Jedi Sentinel, and welcome back to Batman Be Vlogged, the weekly vlog series where I review an episode of Batman Beyond after watching it for the very first time. Today, we are looking at episode 21, Hooked Up, written by Robert Goodman, directed by Dan Reba. And as you can see from my cheap gimmick, this episode we're doing virtual reality. But that's kind of a mid-episode twist, so I won't talk about that just yet. This episode sees Terry finding a bunch of kids who have seemingly disappeared or run away, and, you know, they are committing petty crime. What's going on? Well, it turns out that the Spellbinder is back. And he is basically using this new VR, this new VR um, technology to um, increase kids' serotonin levels, you know, and leave them in feeling this extreme sense of pleasure to the point where they're taken out of the VR, th they suffer withdrawals, you know, essentially he is dr drugging kids. To draw um, literary comparisons or fictional comparisons, Spellbinder in this episode is basically Fagin from Oliver Twist, you know, the sort of um, old crook that had the gang of pickpocket kids, including the Artful Dodger and Oliver for a time. That is what he's doing in this episode, and the Spellbinder is the best part of this episode. In fact, he's also what makes this episode so disturbing. So a little bit of a personal thing about me. When it comes to fiction, I have a thing about um, kids being portrayed in fiction. And what I mean by that is specifically kids being endangered, kids being killed. It's something that sets me on edge in the worst possible way. It's something that makes me really uncomfortable. Like, when I sit down to watch a horror movie or something, um, like the grotesque monsters or the extreme gore mostly don't have an effect on me. It sometimes it does. Like, I well, I said extreme gore. That was a bad example because I cannot do extreme gore. But, like, it's not like the grotesque monsters or spooky imagery that freak me out. It's real-world situations when they're portrayed in fiction and when they're portrayed well that really freak me out. And just Spellbinder manipulating and essentially drugging these kids, oh, it, it was spine-chilling. And Spellbinder's voice actor, once again, is just really good, like, I don't think he yells or raises his voice in this episode at, at all. And that calm demeanor, that calm, almost monotonous demeanor is so off-putting. It's so on edge. I'm already regretting doing this because I keep hitting things. Um, anyway, there are other things in this episode as well. Um, you know, we're finally following up a little bit more on the Max plotline. Remember, Max is a classmate of Terry's. She figured out he is Batman. And despite how that episode progressed, now she wants a piece of the action. She wants to jump out in the field and help Max with his duties. Essentially, she wants to be a Robin. You know, that, that's not what happens. It's just the best comparison I could make. She wants to be a Robin. And Terry is against this. He does not want to endanger her. Something with which, for once, Bruce agrees. You know, after years of being Batman and all his time with the Bat family, he recognizes there are risks to it, and he's trying to warn Terry about what will happen should she get involved. Which is ultimately what happens. She finds herself a victim of the Spellminder. Um... Kevin Conroy and Chris Summer give great performances in this episode. They are kind of the standout. You know, we have Kevin Conroy as Bruce Wayne, um, sort of talking about what happened and why Terry taking on bringing someone else into the fold was a bad idea. And then we have Chris Summer as Max, eagerly wanting to help Terry, but then as she sort of falls victim to the Spellbinder, and she is really our POV character to what he's doing, um... And we see her own desires and what she wants for. It's a really good performance. And I don't think I have anything else to say about that. Um, there, there's this really good chase sequence early on in the episode um, involving a highway. I won't say any more. We're involved in one of the runaway kids. Um, the animation is really good. I feel like 
when I get into some of these points, like the animation or what have you, I kind of sound like a broken record. Like it's me just trying to pad out the video and the runtime. So I'm, I'm going to go into the wrap up now. Hooked Up is a really disturbing episode. And I mean that in the best way possible. It leaves you on edge. You get this really chilling appearance from the Spellbinder and some standout performances for from Chris Summer and Kevin Conroy in particular, but all around the performances in this episode are really good. And also it doesn't, you know, like going back to this, because like I said, what the Spellbinder is doing is a very, very obvious um, drug and analogy. I totally forgot the name of that for a minute. But it's doing so in a way that's played realistically, or it's played in effect, or it's played effectively. Not in the same way that like Golem tackled anti-bullying, or the way the Winning Edge tackled drug use. But those are just my thoughts on Hooked Up. Have you seen it yet? What are yours? Start a conversation in the comments below. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell next to subscribe to get notifications when I upload. And in the description box below, you'll find the link to my Twitter where you can follow me and get updates on the channel for the time being. This is Sir Jedi Sentinel, and I'll see you guys next week for episode 22.